It is now autumn 2007. The Airbus facility in Hamburg also has reason to celebrate. It's a party to honor everyone who's worked on the A380. It's a family affair and a chance to show off the plane that has taken up so much of their time. But it's no time to cut loose. The celebration is conducted with Northern German Reserve. That means cakes and alcohol-free refreshments. Rudiger Fuchs meets with members of the Works Council representing employee concerns. The talk may be light-hearted, but rumors still abound of job cuts, plant sell-offs, and even insider trading. Management employee relations are chilly. Fuchs and the Works Council will have their work cut out for them. It's amazing to work on a project like this and watch as a plane takes to the skies. The adrenaline pumps like kerosene through your veins. Most workers here feel the same way. In a way, we're privileged to work here. But it's a sad fact that many of us have lost our trust in the company over the past year or two, or rather, in the management. But the product's fantastic, and that's why we all stay on the job. Now it's October 25th, and Changji International Airport in Singapore is witnessing aviation history. The flight attendants and chief pilot Robert Ting are once again in the limelight. 471 passengers are in for a very special experience. One, two... And three, ladies and gentlemen, proudly, the first A380 flight, SQ380. The first commercial flight of an A380 is ready for boarding. Tickets were only available over the internet. Some were auctioned off for up to $100,000. For the first time, Captain Ting will be flying a sold-out super jumbo. No more test flights with ballast tanks or empty cabins. This is the real thing. Now that it's passengers, uh, it will only mean that you know, we have people on board, but it does not make our job less responsible. It does not make the job easier or harder, but we will just apply our usual self. Uh, it's just that there are people on board, but with, even without people, we feel equally responsible because it's such a big capital investment of an aeroplane. To say the least, Captain Robert Ting is about to take to the skies at the helm of an airliner with close to a 240 million euro price tag. It's a smooth takeoff for the maiden flight from Singapore to Sydney. Another photo session, this one with the captain and passengers. The Super Jumbo is operating flawlessly, but for the flight attendants and economy class passengers, it's a routine long haul flight. The superlatives are found in the first class section, with individual cabin seats marking a new dimension in privacy and comfort. The flight ends with a picture-perfect landing in Sydney. The road here has been a long and arduous one, with an exasperating 18-month delay. As for Rudiger Fuchs, he hasn't yet flown on the aircraft he helped to launch. We're not in the clear yet. As it is now, we should be able to produce four A380s per month. The plan is for us to be producing one a week by 2010, so we're not in the clear. Enormous challenges remain, and it's time to face them. One A380 in 2007, one a week by 2010. Give Rudiger Fuchs a challenge, and he'll accept it with glee.